Hi, dear users of Flared. Here is Benjamino, and I just want to make the point of Flared. Where are we now? There are some issues that some of you are experiencing, and we are sorry about that. Um, two months ago, we started developing all the shaders of Flared for Cycles 2 because Flared was working only in EV. And uh, we saw that with Blender 3.0 in an alpha or beta version, I don't remember, all the problems that we've had in the past with Cycles were gone away so we started make all the, the shaders adapting them uh, to be compatible with cycles and we were very happy about this but now we can see that there still be some issues that are evolving because we've seen differences between 3.0 3.1 3.12 and uh, 3.2 beta and alpha 2 so I think that the blender foundation is working on this kind of problem that is affecting cycles and uh, that is generated when two planes intersect themselves and this is a fast example of the problem that I'm analyzing right now. Uh, here is an adaptive flare uh, that is uh, really easy. There are a few geometries into it. And this is an artifact that is generated uh, in this kind of uh, view. If I change the camera, I can see it again. But I just want to take a look at this problem because this is what we have now and we can solve somehow and we can have some work around for now to, to try to, to solve this problem. Uh, we are working on this and we hope to, to solve this uh, somehow. Um, this is generated by two intersecting planes. Uh, in this moment, the two intersecting planes are the glow plane. Uh, if I uh, deactivate the glow, uh, everything is fine, <laughs> but I don't have the glow and I need it. And if I uh, deactivate this dirt, uh, everything is fine too, because glow and dirt are these two planes that are uh, intersecting here, uh, generating this, this awful uh, straight line. The problem is caused by intersecting planes when they are uh, somehow transparent and emissive at the same time. And we can see that, as I told to a, a lot of you, I've set the transparent uh, light paths a really higher value. This is not correct, uh, because we can have a better result if we, we adjust this value in function of what we have uh, uh, now here. So let's start from one and if you see uh, this is awful because one is not enough uh, to manage all the transparencies that are into this flare. So let's go to one more, two is not enough, three, four, five, six. Six is enough because this kind of flare has only six level of transparency. Uh, if you've seen has other levels of transparencies uh, you need to go up with this maybe you need to to, to to go to 12 i don't know but anyway as you can see now this problem seems to be gone why because uh, if we uh, multiply the transparency a lot um, when it's not needed uh, we will turn up this problem so if i go to 800 the problem will be very very uh, lightened okay and so this is the first advice. Uh, start from one and then adjust the transparent uh, at the minimum value that you need to make your scene good. Uh, in this way, you should avoid a lot of these uh, issues. But it's not so easy uh, because it, here I was working in 3.1, I think. Yeah. Um, here is an, another 3.1.2 but is the same and here I have an, an experiment I was doing in 3.2 beta or alpha I don't remember the one that I downloaded today um, here you can see something different uh, this is a, a green flared uh, I've made the, the same things that I made before so uh, start from here uh, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because this flare has a lot of levels of transparency, a lot more than the the adaptive flare. Uh, you can see if I can select the, the camera and the geometry uh, here, the viewport in this way. Here is a lot of geometry into this. Uh, some beams are all geometries and there is a lot of things that are intersecting here uh, but we need more transparency so uh, 10 let's go up 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 i click a lot of time and let's see this seems to be the the right level of transparency that we need here that is 47 uh, that seems to be good um but what happens if i uh, turn up the the ghosts if i 
create other ghosts. If I create other ghosts, I need more transparency. And this is uh, the other things that you need to do. If you add uh, ghosts or uh, sunbeams, you need to, to have sometimes more, more, oh, sorry, this is the transmission. I don't need the transparency. So I'll turn up this transparency to another higher level now that is 66 okay uh let's see what's happening here just give some time to my old gpu to calculate this scene and we can see if i um let me check one okay i'm working with cuda remember this now i have cuda activated um if i um <coughs> use the okay because i want to bypass the compression of YouTube so I have to zoom in into this uh, issue now we've made some some passes some render passes and as you can see uh, the problem is there again but here we don't know what to do because what can we do if we turn down the value of the transparent light paths we will have the problem of the transparency uh, if we still uh, with this value will have this problem again and so um, for this you you'll have to choose the optics uh, that is better than CUDA uh, I think that optics is only uh, on NVIDIA card I think so uh, because with optics the the way of managing this kind of issue changes and the issues uh, are not visible they seems to be vanished again and if I go there i just see a, a, a little problem uh, dark pixels but is really really hard to see so maybe that with optics you can have better result and so you have to switch to optics for this kind of problems um i've seen that also the cpu compute is better than gpu but who wants to use gpu today I, I don't know uh, because the problem is in GPU uh, CPU is very slow I've got an i7 here but uh, it has about eight years I suppose seven or eight years. Uh, anyway um, the problem is not visible with CPU rendering too GPU is the best because it's fastest but uh, is not good when on CUDA okay and in some other um, issues that I had, uh, I had to use the denoise to um, the denoise on albedo and normal. Uh, but for now, I have to say that this problem is not completely solved. Uh, these are only workaround, and maybe that there are since uh, complex situations in which these uh, workarounds fails. And so the problem is, uh, what can I do? I'll have to switch again to to EV because, as you can remember. The old user knows that uh, EV is perfect and has no problem. It is really fast compared to, to cycles. But have a direct render in cycles, it was a good solution for who wants to, to work into to cycles. And I've seen again that the old way, the legacy mode that was moving all the flares on a new level that will be rendered in EV at the same time as the scene was rendered in cycles. And then the two scenes, the base of the scene in cycles and only the flare in EV were composite in, into the compositor to give a perfect result. Maybe we have to switch back to the situation and let you decide which uh, way to, to use to avoid these issues, to have a good workaround and to try to have the better result. Uh, I hope we will find a solution, but for now this is what I can say to you. And I. I say thank you to everybody for your patience and um, for your good uh, message that we receive uh, every day uh, from all of you and I hope we, are, we will go in better and better uh, in the future. So thank you to everybody, thank you for this time and see you in the next time. Bye bye!